So I recently put out a poll here on the channel and on Facebook asking you guys what type of systems you use to produce. So I noticed that a lot of you guys are using headphones to produce. So I had these headphones sent to me because I needed a pair to compare to to the headphones that I normally use on the channel so that I can really feel how studio headphones compare to normal headphones because I've been using DJ headphones. So I have not been paid by AKG. I just had these sent out to me so I can try them out. I must still actually send these back so I do not own this. So what I'm saying here is not pushing you to buy these, but I'm just trying to share my tips on working with headphones and trying to help you guys actually choose good headphones if you're gonna be working on headphones for most of your production as most of you guys are. So let's unbox this quick and then we get back to it. So the box looks really nice. It's not a box that you'd wanna throw away, but keep. So here they are. And then underneath you get a bag with all the cables inside. And what's nice about these is that you get three different types of cables. You get different lengths starting from 1.2 meters, 3 meters, and another 3 meter that is curled up. So they also work as spare cables as well. They slide up and down to extend their size and you can also fold them up to store them. So when it comes to headphones, the same things to consider when shopping for speakers is the same things you also need to consider when shopping for a good pair of headphones to use for music. So basically what you want to look for is a flat response. A flat response is where there's no sweetening of the sound that's coming from the speakers or the headphones. When you look for studio monitors, you're looking for the flatter sounding because they give you a good representation of the sounds. So the difference between studio speakers and normal speakers is that the normal speakers are sweetened so that they sound nice to you. I've seen comments of people saying they've, they've bought studio monitors and it, they didn't sound nice. They didn't really understand why they didn't sound nice when they played music through them. That, that is because they're not meant to sound nice. So when you buy headphones that sound extremely nice, like the Dre Beats for instance, they sound really nice because they made it that way. They have sweetened the sound, you know, raised the highs and also boosted some of the low end, you know, the, the nice sweet frequencies that people love to listen to and they made it really nice to your ear. So they do that with the intention of having you enjoy listening to music or whatever you're listening to through them. But then it's different from studio headphones. These don't come for your listening pleasure. These come for work so they have a flat response which means they give you frequencies as they're supposed to be so they make sure that when you tune in your sounds you get the real representation so whatever you make on a good pair of studio headphones or a good pair of studio monitors it's gonna sound really good even if you play it anywhere else so that's the whole advantage of having these so when it comes to studio headphones you usually want some closed back headphones because what these allow you to do is that they don't let sound go outside and they do not let sound come inside because they're closed back. So they seal your ears inside a dome of sound. So when I put these on the first time, they sounded like the sound was just, it's like you're in another room, you're in a closed out room because they block out all the sounds that's coming from the outside world and you're just with your music. So the sound sounds like it's right here by your ear, whatever you're playing. So you can hear everything clearly without any noise from outside. And another thing I will say though about when I got these headphones was that the smell, they smell so nice. These are really good headphones. I must say I was really impressed. They make a world of a difference when actually making music. And what's amazing about having a good pair of headphones is that they are multi-purpose. So if you get used to them, you can actually just use them when you're walking out just for general use for listening to music or whatever. And you don't have to bother people with making noise when you're making music because that's usually the issue. So if you live with like neighbors that don't like noise, you cannot be blasting music and you never know when exactly Exactly. you will get inspiration you might get it in the middle of the night and then you know you know you cannot make any noise so you can also produce if you're producing mobile like if you're working on your phone or you're working on your tablet or on your laptop and you're out there you can just put these on you don't have to now move with your studio monitors or feel like you cannot produce anything because you have other headphones so you can still use other normal headphones not studio headphones if you want to but the problem is they're sweetened so they won't really give you a good free frequency response so getting headphones like this that are made for studio is the best thing you can do for yourself and I think that you can actually get these type of headphones first before you actually get studio monitors if you know that you're not in an environment where you can 
be able to make noise all the time. So a good pair of studio headphones will go for at least about 3,000 Rand. And that's a good investment if you know you usually make your music in headphones. So buying a pair like this, like these AKG, K371s are amazing. You can get you a pair of these and then you know you sorted. Studio headphones are the best way to go if you wanna produce using headphones and you don't wanna disturb other people, especially if you're in school or you're at home and you don't wanna to make too much loud noise. So if you use other headphones, understand how your headphones work compared to other headphones. Just go try out some studio headphones, listen to your music and hear the difference. I promise you there is a night and day difference between studio headphones and normal headphones. So definitely save up and buy you a pair of studio headphones. Even if you have to get the AKG 371s, they are amazing headphones. I, I must say they made a whole lot of difference. I'm going to be sad when I have to take these back, but I have to. Let me know down in the comments what model of headphones you are using. So that's been the video, guys. I hope you find this really helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And also drop me a like down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And that's it for me guys. I'll check you out in my next video. I am X and I'm out. Peace.